Well, here we are, Cedars Celebration 2020, our virtual celebration event. It's so great you could be with us, and we're starting our countdown clock for our event starting very, very soon. But before we start and kick off, I'm gonna to throw to some helpers who have gone to visit some uh, house parties, some watch parties around the Illawarra, starting off with our college chaplain, Carol Ramsey, who's over at the Hammond House. Carol, what's going on with the Hammonds? Now these are the Hammonds and if you don't know them, their oldest son is going to introduce us to all the family members. Harper came and tell us everybody who's here. This is my dad, um, he's the coolest boy in the world. <laughs> this is my mum, she's the, she's the beautifulest lady in the world. This is my brother, Oki. This is my sister, Rory. And this is my little brother, Gaspar. And this is Harper. Oh boy, you're here, you're here, you're here. I'm in three blue and you three. Well, there you go, you three. I know that you guys are really excited about your watch party. Yeah. Where's your watch party bag? Okay, get it. Ooh, okay. it's under the tree. Yeah. Quick, like get it out, Oki. Okay. Yeah. What is yeah. in your watch party yeah. bag? What's in there? What have we got? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. What is that? What are they called? Yeah. What are they called, guys? What are they? Celebration! Yeah. Woo! Because we're out and doing celebration what today. What else have you got? got? Popcorn! Oh. Well, you can't have a watch party without popcorn if we're no. going to be watching something. Oh. Now, for us to watch, do our watch party, we're going to need to know some things. What are the instructions on your bag? Ooh. Maybe it's Mum can tell us. Okay, get comfy. Get comfy? Oh. Come on, Shasha, comfy. Oh, yes. Oh, comfy. We're, oh, really good. Good. we're all comfy here now. Excellent. What's the next Step instruction? Get our snacks out. Scooch in, scooch in, Dad, you have to come over here with our watch party oh. bag. We need to do a quick selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the angle yeah. smile. Yes. Oh, Gus is there. Oh, 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 took the opportunity to steal Gus. You're on this. You've got your best yes, Gus. All right, and then we have to upload those and send them to info at Cedars. Oh, we'll be doing that. We can do it. Yep. Yeah. And also hashtag Cedars Celebration 2020. Well, thanks so much, Carol. Looks like there's a lot of excitement there, and I know that you're going to have a great night. And Harper, Rory, I hope you get those Christmas presents. Every boy should have a guitar and a puppy dog. Come on, Josh, Talia, make it happen. All right, let's go over to the Brown household where Deputy Principal Julie Cochran is checking out what they're getting up to tonight for their watch party. Over to you, Julie. Thanks, Mr. Walton. I'm here in Mangerton with the Brown family. Who's excited about celebration? Yeah! 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 Come up here, come up here. Tell us, Austin, who have you got here at your watch party? I have got the Wilsons, my parents, and my brother here with me. Fantastic. Thanks for inviting people over for the watch party. Pleasure, come on up and show us what is in your celebration bag. So, what's in my bag? Yeah. Are the celebration chocolates? Is that your favourite thing in the bag? Mm hmm And what do you like about those chocolates? It's that if you don't like one, you can just take it out of your mouth and then eat another one. Because there's all different flavours. <laughs> yeah! Awesome! And are you going to share them with your friends and family? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. That's a great question. Fantastic. And we've got the Wilson girls here. Girls, we're about to launch into our celebration video. What are you looking forward to, Maeve? Um, probably the awards to see who's gotten them. 
Fantastic. And how about you, Emma Shay? I'm looking forward to the performances. Not the speeches? No. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be good. Everything will be fantastic. Yeah. All right, then, let's get excited because celebration's about to start. Yeah! yeah. Well, that sounds great, Julie. Thank you so much. There are certainly some good looking people at that house, I don't mind saying. Uh, one more house we're going to throw to before we get our celebration event underway, and that is the Stewart household. And our College Wellbeing uh, Director, Tim Johnson, is there to tell us what's going on with the Stewarts. Over to you, Tim. Hey, guys. How are you going? Hey, Steve. Well, tonight I am up here at Mount Kira. We're just at the local Hoyts or otherwise known as somebody's house. Uh, I'm here pretty excited because I'm here with a pretty awesome crew, the Stewarts! <laughs> Alright, calm down, calm down. The good news is, Steve, that they like to keep you here just to watch over everything, make sure that the students are on their best behaviour. And uh, the exciting thing is, every day of the week, the kids have to give you a high five before they're allowed to go to bed. That's one of the things I've heard around here. So I thought it's interesting if we can come and meet someone tonight. So Mackenzie, why don't you come and have a chat with me and we can uh, have, find out a little bit about this year for you. So it's been a big year, a tough year, something that has been challenging for everyone. I think the question that everyone really wants to know is what is your favorite color? Um, probably blue. Blue, is there a reason? No backstory, no. no deep meaning to it, <laughs> just blue. Okay, yeah. fair enough. So when you think of everything that's gone on this year, I want you to bring it all down to one word for me to describe it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, interesting. That's deep. I like it. So Mackenzie, the last part of the night that's important for us is this part here, which is we need to take a selfie. Yeah. So everyone, we into that? Yeah. yeah. Let's get ready. I think it's important that we get Mr. Walton into this picture. Come and join us, Mr. Walton. All right, come on in. Here we go in three, two, one, smile. Nice, good job everyone. Well, that's it from here, back to you. Well, thanks, Tim. So great to see what the Stuarts are up to tonight. And I'm sure there's watch parties all around the Illawarra just like this. I hope you've got it up on the big screen just like the Stuarts do. Sit back, enjoy the night. Once you've watched the video, check out all the different tabs of the things that have happened throughout 2020 here at Cedars. Let's get the countdown started and have a great night. Twenty twenty, in a year that stopped the world, we remain committed to moving forward. For no matter the challenge the days bring before us, our vision never falters. To be both completely present while anticipating the future ahead. This commitment and perseverance is a virtue to our way and a model to those in our care. The Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. We were not created to just survive, we were born to thrive. This generation will be known as the resilient ones, a foundational trait intentionally instilled at Cedars as we powerfully equip our leaders of tomorrow, those who are mantled with courage, hope, love and grace. Remaining steadfast in their training to think with a different perspective for such a time as this. To not fear change, but to know it is our gateway to behold a brighter future. To look and find that which is good in this world, and to search for and uncover the treasures hidden before us. In a world that is dynamic, it's that perspective which we nurture. To stand tall, search out and embrace opportunity and in doing so, sparking the brightest future for our students as they continue moving forward for all that is ahead.
The great Australian spirit is the essence of our mateship. It's that tugging on the heart to extend a helping hand to a mate in need. And in this land of drought and flooding rains, that could be a perfect stranger caught up in a storm. But one thing is for sure, no matter how long or how hot and dry, we will face this grief as one, till the rains fall again. Well, good morning, Cedars community. It's Monday the 23rd of March, and what a weekend we had. We had Prime Minister's announcements last night, and we also had uh, announcements from the Premier this morning. We're encouraging all parents, if at all possible, to keep their children home from school, and we will be delivering remote education to you and your families. Yeah, I get up. Superman, the only person at the party. Mm, that's a bit sad. Why? The invitation said, supervision required. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the business study course in... Hi. Is there a bloopers? Testing one, two. Cut them off. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Ben Carden and I'm the geography teacher for year 11. I'm coming at you. No, that was terrible. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> it's me first, that's good. History is a multifaceted discipline. I'm sorry. Come on. Do it, Frankie. You will experiment with the language, you will experiment with the. Uh, okay. Throughout this presentation, we have photos of. Um, it was going fine until yeah. now. And then we got some noisy ones. Yeah. Am I am I bright red? <laughs> I feel like I'm getting redder and redder. There's never been this many buses go past the school ever. <laughs> I've lost it. I'll start again this little section. I'm not a movie star. <laughs> Bye. This year, Cedars will be taking part of their first ever online fundraiser on Friday the 22nd of May. So grab your tent and your sleeping bag and spend the night sleeping in your backyard. This is to experience what it's like to have minimal access compared to what we are so privileged enough to have, such as a solid house. This will be the main event to raise money through the digital doorknob. We want everyone involved. This is such a great way to spice up isolation and to raise funds for such a great cause. Although this year the world ground to a halt, we were determined that our students would not be hindered. And I'm so pleased to see the great success of our pupils over this time. It's in our holistic approach, one that not only provides academic excellence, but teaches foundational qualities and virtues. We know that it's because of this that with every day that passes, our students are moving forward into their own bright future.
Well, hello everyone. You know, it's been a number of weeks now since we've started phasing our students back into the life of the school each day. We've had Year 12 join us last week with kindergarten, this week Year 11 and Year 1. And I'm pleased to say that from May 25th, so next Monday, we're asking all of our students, every grade, to return to school for face-to-face -face teaching. You know I'm back, like I never left. I never left. Another sprint, another step. Another step. Another day, another breath. Another breath. Been chasing dreams, but I never slept. I never slept. I got a new attitude that'll lease on life as a peace of mind. Seeking to find, I can sleep when I die. Want a piece of the pie, got the keys to the riding. No straight, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, get up my way. I'm running late, what can I say? I heard you die twice. Once when they bury you in the grave And the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name So when I leave here on this earth Did I take more than I gave? Did I look out for the people? Or did I do it all for fame? I feel glorious, glorious Got a chance to start again I was born for this, born for this It's who I am, I could have forget I made it through the I am so proud of all of our students and teachers. There is amazing power in our Cedars community, a community that encourages one another and stands together shoulder to shoulder in both the joyful and troubling times. Our investment in equipping our students and staff with strength of vision and ownership has shown greatly this year through their commitment, their leadership and motivation. And I couldn't be happier.
Jesus said we are the light of the world and the way in which we exhibit that light to the rest of the world is by using kindness, mercy and compassion. Well, I can tell you, Cedars, that I'm so proud of you because one of the things that we're good at around this place is exhibiting God's love, grace and mercy to people who need it, particularly in a year like this. And so I want to encourage as we head towards the end of the year that you can continue to see God's light through you towards others in a way that will make a difference. Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living With you I've made my decision You lift me up Fill my eyes Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste and see. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather. Whether or never I ever understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans. I stand with faith and a life I never known to touch. And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's to die for? Live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living to death. So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's to die for? And live to no end. This is living. The life I've been given is a gift. If I'm a living, I'm a living. Living yeah. now Welcome to the virtual HSC Showcase event. I'm really proud of our students and their achievements this year with their major projects in what was a challenging year for everyone. I'm really proud of the art projects this year. There's really big variety and a really high standard of technical refinement. They are all really authentic stories showing uh, so much from where my students are coming from and the things that they're thinking about. It's been a joy teaching these students this year. They have grown in their ability to work through challenges as they completed their major projects. So we're proud of them. They've done an amazing job. In fact, this week we've also had early entry offers come out. So these students are getting grabbed up by employers and universities as we speak. Let's just ask them. Hey, how many of you have been given an early entry offer, you, you've got your TAFE course lined up, you've been employed already after school, you know what you're doing, people have 
secured you and in, into what you're doing next year. Put your hand up this way. Congratulations, go back to business. Yeah. They've done a great job, we're proud of them and uh, we can't wait to see what they achieve in the, in the big wide world out there after Cedars. The favourite part about Cedars is probably just getting to connect with the younger students. Like, um, a lot of schools don't have that prep to year 12 kind of age bracket. So just, yeah, spending time with them, connecting with them and, yeah, just growing with them as a school has been really awesome. It's a very emotional time with leaving everyone behind, and but it's also very exciting because everyone's, you know, going into their own lives and starting their own paths. My advice for students coming after us would just be to keep persevering through challenging times and to definitely try to be yourself, don't try to be anybody else because, yeah, you're incredible the way you are. Some bags and we headed west Thought that it might be the best thing for us I was thinking about me And all the things that you'd leave behind Family and a peace of mind And I, I, I got you and I am gonna love you till the stars go out Shelter up above you till they all fall down We ain't got light, we got love We ain't got light, we got love Floating like feathers in the heavy rain Two of us together can weather any change that comes our way. Nothing here really feels like home. Home is who you're with when you don't feel alone anymore. I am gonna love you till the stars go out. Shelter up above me till they all fall. Year 12, I want to congratulate you on moving from stability and panic and emotion at the start of the year through to resilience by the end. You did this by asking questions of yourself like, where can I grow? What is this teaching me? What are the opportunities and what are some of the new ways to do old things? So congratulations Year 12 on this final day of schooling. In a year that stopped the world, we at Cedars Christian College kept moving forward. With droughts, fires, a global pandemic and a whole range of restrictions that interrupted our regular way of living, we at Cedars were intentionally strategic about educating our students throughout it. For by introducing stabilising strategies that taught them how to weather the storm no matter what the adversity, to being resilient by knowing how to use that storm to propel us forward, it was all because of what we believe as a people, in our God, our students, and how we continue to serve the lives entrusted to us, regardless of the challenges we face as a community, a nation, and world. For those reasons, just as we have always done in everything we do at Cedars, we're consciously helping to prepare the way. And that's not only academically, but in building a resilient generation who are trained to think differently through character development and faith foundational qualities that are preparing them for life. So no matter what lies ahead, they will always have the capacity and confidence to continue moving forward. It's why our college remains committed to upholding a vision of excellence 
in Christian education for our region and beyond. So equally do the lives of our students, all because they are steadfast in what they know and in who they are. And to us, that will always be worth celebrating.